guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another DIY, but this is going to be a candle DIY. So it kind of has to do with fall, but also you can do this any time of the year. It's not like inspired by anything like my last video. If you haven't seen that video, I'm really proud of it, so you can go check it out. I'll have it linked. But today's video is going to be two different kinds of candles, two different styles, scents, colors, all of that. I'm going to show you guys how I did them, how I made them, and you, this is something you can do whatever you want to do with. Like, it doesn't have to be how I did it, it doesn't have to be how someone else does it, whatever you want to do, free range. Just like, I feel like any DIY is like that, but just like any other DIY, I feel. For the first DIY that we are going to make, the candle, is a glass jar, measuring cup, as well as little wicks, some different colored crayons of your choice, whatever you want to do. I just chose orange, white, and black. I did a couple different shades of orange as well. You're going to need scents for your candles to have different scents. I just chose these three, and then you're going to need some wax. So I just started off by boiling some hot water into just a normal saucepan on the stove. And then once that starts, after that starts boiling, I'm going to go ahead and add the wax in the measuring cup to the hot water. Just a little bit for the wax actually to melt down so I took a chopstick, a wooden chopstick, and just stirred around and pushed it down a little bit until it became in liquid form. And then once it became a little bit in liquid form, I went ahead and just added my crayons in for the color and let those mix in and melt with the rest of the wax. After the wax has been melted down, we're ready to place the wick in. So I know you can glue it down, but I don't like the look of glue on the bottom. So I went ahead and actually put wax on the bottom and then went and put this on top. The little part on the bottom, I don't really know what it's called, but you can buy them separate or together. Mine came already like pre-made, which was really nice. It saves a lot of time. But yeah, I went ahead and just put a little drop of wax on the bottom and then press that down to hold it. And then I used another chopstick to hold the wick up and straight so it doesn't get like bendy or like move around while the candle's setting. At this point, I totally forgot to add the scent to the wax, so I went and did that and just stirred it up, mixed it in, and it was fine. It did not take very long to melt. There were a little bit of chunks, but it was definitely okay. It turned out fine. So after I stirred that in and let that melt a little, I went ahead and poured the hot wax into the little glass container and just let it sit for a second. After letting the hot wax of the bright orange set a little bit, I went in with another lighter color of orange. I just used the same container and then just put more um, plain white wax in so it made it a little bit lighter so we could have two dimensions kind of to the candle. I thought it would be fun. I ended up not thinking that was enough of the wax so I ended up in, I went ahead and added more and just let that melt down. Make sure also you're adding water to the pan because it is evaporating into the air and as you can see my pan's starting to get like a little low on water so just make sure you're adding water to the pan as well. But I just went ahead and stirred this up mix mixed it in. I didn't add too much more of the scent but I just let this melt down and then I added that on top of the last layer that had cooled and hardened just a tad. I also ended up putting the other part into the freezer so it could freeze faster while I was working on this part so I suggest doing that as well. After having both layers be poured into the glass I went ahead and just put this aside and let it sit overnight and it was hard by that evening and it's ready to go to burn your candle. I 
I went ahead and used black crayons for this one. I thought it'd be cool to have like a black candle with the cinnamon. And then I ended up using this milk carton. It's just the whole milk one I had at my house. And I cut it with a knife halfway. And what you do is you just want to have all your um, wax melted and ready to go. And then you pour ice into the carton. But after you put your wick in. So make sure you put your wick in first. And then your ice. And then you're going to pour the hot wax over the ice. And when the ice melts, you're going to pour the water out, as you'll see here in a second. And you're going to have a really, really cool, like, dimensional candle. It looks kind of like a house inside. Like, that's... Never mind. I hope you guys like that video of the two candles I used to make for the fall season. I used to be obsessed with making candles. I used to make them all the time. I loved making them. Uh, so it was really fun to do it today. And I did it a little different than I used to do it back in the day. But this way is much more efficient than the way I used to do it. But I hope you guys liked and give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!